your makers are your husbands. These are plural participles. Your makers, plural of asa, ase, are your husbands, baalai, plural of baal, Yahuwah of host, his name, the Holy One of Israel, your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth. Just like Israel is one. Hi, amazing viewers. Welcome to Christianity over Islam with Shanshumon. And on today's amazing debate, Jewish convert melts down over Trinity plus Trinity in Jewish sources. Let's watch this amazing video. We're live. We're waiting for you. Click on the link. Come on and refute the Trinity. Okay. You, you think you can refute the Trinity. Are you ethnically Jewish? No, 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 no. I'm not a rabbi either. Um, hold, hold on a minute. I just want to clear up something. I'm not a rabbi. Oh. Um, and I only wanted to I only wanted to debate with the Trinity because I don't yes. know how long we would have. And uh, well, we got that... a lot of time. Don't worry about it. Ooh, we got OK, well, so OK, so just, hold, on, just... hold on before you go on. Hold on. Be patient. You're not ethnically Jewish. No, 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 no. I'm 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 converting. I, I'm in the conversion process. Well, hopefully you come back to the truth. OK, so let's get into the meat of the matter that you think you can refute the Trinity because you'd make clips and called me out. So now I'm here. Yes. OK. So one of the biggest problems uh, is that when you are reading from the um, from the understanding of Christianity, and then you jump from that into the Hebrew, you got to know the Hebrew well enough. There's many times that the Hebrew so you know the Hebrew well enough plural things. No, and no. Do you know the Hebrew well enough? Because I'm going to quote your rabbis. I'm not going to quote Christians. I'm going to quote. Okay, your no, I, and I get that, but so okay. So in in one of the clips that I did against you, yeah, you're please. bringing up the fact that it says masters, which it can be used as husbands. Fair. You're correct on that, yes. but you're you're bringing up that it could be the plural, and the problem no, is, the plural. huh? No, it is the plural. No, I, I no, I I know that I know that, but the, oh, the so problem that. is that you're asserting who that plural is. No, 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 no. Don't attack strawman. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, because in Isaiah. all of Judaism, you have multiple masters. It's no, not no, just not the authority of God that you're following. You're following the authority you of your mom and dad. You're following me, you can preach and talk over me or you can have a dialogue. Don't be nervous. No, friend. I, no, I'm not nervous. I'm trying okay. to explain to you. Don't explain. I don't explain need your explanation. You problems. Buddy, I don't need your explanation. We're going to go to the Hebrew text right here. I didn't ask you if Israel has plural masters in the context. Who are these husbands and makers of Israel in the context? It's right here. Here's it on the screen. Read it for us. Here, let me enlarge okay, it. Okay, well, husbands isn't the proper word to be using for that. Husband, it, it's actually coming out as masters. And it Okay, let's go with masters. Who are the masters here? This is already explained. It's your mother. It's your father. It's the Sanhedrin. No, read it's the rest the of the verse. Yes. Yes, read, it is. Yes, it buddy, is. Read yes, it the is. rest of the verse. Okay, but your problem is you're not just reading. Are you you're only read reading the verse, the verse Are but you you're not read reading all the commentary that's thousands of okay, years old. Let's go. Hold on. The commentary, right? Okay, let's go. I'm going to give you Chabad.org. Let's see what how they translate. So you're playing games now. So I didn't know you were wasting no, time. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Can you stop, stop shouting? Whole, stop shouting. Take it Sam, easy. The, Sam, the stop whole shouting. thing. No, I'm shouting because I don't have my... Maybe I should put my microphone headset Take on. Take it easy. No, we can hear you. Don't shout here. Now, let's go to okay. Chabad.org. Let's see how they translate. This is Chabad.org, folks. It's not me. This yes, but Chabad a... has mistranslated many things. They mistranslate all yeah, kinds and of things, left and right. Why are you, are you wasting my time? Why don't, you, why don't you get out of here, dude? I go to Chabad.org. No, 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 every Jew, no. Now? Every Jew knows that they mistranslate because they can okay, read the can Hebrew you get out of here, right. Can you get lost? Because I even I haven't even gotten to the translation. You're already manifesting. Take it easy. Let's no, see what. I'm not, no, I'm not. You're Take it easy. Let's see what Rashi says. Okay. For your master is your maker. Who is your master and maker here? Hashem is always the master and the maker of the world. Okay. Are you That's listening? That's literally to the in the thirteen words? principles of Judaism. And you you take cannot it have another saying. You cannot have another. Okay. You want to have a discussion or you want to manifest? Take it Damn, easy. I'm not manifesting. I'm okay. countering what you're verse. saying. Okay. Your claim is that Chabad's hey, translations are accurate. He's not even Jewish, doesn't know the scriptures, and he wants to debate. There you go. In Isaiah 54, verse 5, for your makers are your husbands. These are plural participles. Your makers, plural of asa, ase, are your husbands, baalai, plural of baal, Yahuwah of hosts, his name. The Holy One of Israel, your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth. Just like Israel is one wife consisting of more than one person, 
the God of Israel, who's the husband, is one husband, but more than one person. That's why he's called makers, husbands. Job 35.10, but none says, where is God, my makers, plural, plural of Asa. Ecclesiastes 12.1, notice, remember also your creators in the days of your youth. And it's the plural of bara. It's the plural participle form of bara. Creators. But I want you to see what the Zohar, a mystical rabbinic Jewish source, says about God being three. A three-headed God. A God that is three spirits in one. Here's the translation. Quote, there you go. The ancient Holy One is revealed with three heads. This is a Jewish source. A medieval mystical Jewish source. When's the last time you had these rabbis like Tobias Singer tell you this is what exists in Jewish sources, especially Jewish mysticism? Three heads which are united in one, and that head is threefold exalted. The ancient Holy One is described as being three. It is because the other lights, i.e. two lights, emanating from him are included in the three. Yet the ancient one is described as being two, Daniel 7.13. The ancient one includes these two i.e. the two are found in him. He is the crown of all that is exalted, the chief of the chief, so exalted, that he cannot be known to perfection. Thus, the other lights, shining ones, are two complete ones. Yet is the ancient holy one described and complete as one, and he is one, positively one. Thus are the other lights united and glorified in one, because they are one. That's the Zohar, part of the Kabbalah, a mystical Jewish work that says this one ancient of days is three heads three spirits united in one does that mean this proves the trinity no because we don't need this filth because their god their hashem is not the god of the bible their three-headed hashem is not the god of the bible the hashem of rabbinic judaism is an idol erected by Satan, like all of the quran that's why the rabbinic jews and the muslims think they worship the same god because they have the same source satan their father in the rabbinic sources, listen to what you're about to read. You're going to get blown away. When you approach the seventh heaven, Raqiya in Hebrew, they call the seventh heaven Raqiya. At the gate as you enter, right by the gate, there is a throne. And seated on the throne is this being called Akatria Yah, who's said to be Jehovah, Jehovah of hosts, distinct from God. This is in the rabbinic sources. Peter Schaefer from page 119 following. There is yet another version of the ascent of Elisha ben Avuya. Now, for those of you who don't know who Elisha ben Avuya is, he was a rabbi where supposedly he ascended into heaven. Once in heaven, he supposedly saw two powers, i.e. two divine persons. Because of that claim that this rabbi ascended into heaven and saw two gods, other rabbis condemned him as a heretic because he espoused the two powers view. Quote, this is Peter Schaefer's translation. Elisha ben Avuya said, When I ascended to Pardes, I beheld Akatriel, the crown of God, Yah, Jehovah of hosts. Did you catch who he is? He's called Jehovah of hosts, who sits at the entrance to the Pardes. Now notice, God's throne is supposed to be in the center of the seventh heaven, called Raqiya. This one, his throne is at the entrance. When you're about to enter the seventh heaven and go before God, this one is there at the entrance, who sits at the entrance of the Pardes, and 120 myriads of ministering angels surround him. As it is said, now, guys, be blown away. This Jewish source quotes Daniel 7.10 and applies it to this divine being, thereby identifying him as the Ancient of Days of Daniel 7. Thousands upon thousands served him, and myriads upon myriads, etc., stood standing, <coughs> attending him, Daniel 7.10, when I saw them, I was alarmed and startled. See, freaked out. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this being on the throne that all the angels are serving him? Daniel 7, 10. When Daniel 7, 9, 10 is about the Ancient of Days, who is the one true God. But this one, Akatriel, the crown of El, Yah, Jehovah of Hosts, he's not the true God. He's a separate divine being. Because if he's the true God, he'd be in the center, not by the entrance. So he's alarmed. He's blown away. He's confused. Who am I looking at? Now watch here. Then he talks to the true God. I said before him, Lord of the world, you wrote in your Torah, Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heavens of 
heavens, etc. Deuteronomy 10, 14. And it is written, the heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament declares the work of his hands. One alone. In other words, he's saying to the true God, there's only one of you. And only you own heaven. Who's this one? Why are there two of you? You understand? Welcome back. Hope you learned on this amazing video. Please do it to like, subscribe, hit the notification button so that each time we drop our amazing videos, you'll be notified. And do it to write in the comment section whatever thing you've learned from this amazing video. As you can see in this video, the Jewish convert, he just converted into in Jewish just a recent while. And he claimed that he said that Saint Shimon is, is speaking about the Trinity in the Christian understanding wow how amazing that a, a new convert in jewish is trying to debate a man that has been a christian for ever a long time and since when he was born he's been a christian and even studied the bible more than him that he claimed that he's a new convert in the jews so he's trying to tell saint shimon that the trinity is wrong and we saint shimon began to and began to give him instance in the bible from the old testament began to tell him that was well speaking spoken about the trinity where he started by showing him in the book of daniel where daniel prophesied about the coming in the book of daniel where he where the bible where daniel saw the prophet about the coming of jesus christ where daniel prophesied about the coming of jesus christ and some asked him oh is this thing true as is written in the old testament or is not true at this particular point we know this guy is truly a jew that he is, was claiming to say that he is a new Jew, new convert in Jew, and he said, "No, that Saint Shimon is looking this in the Christian, in the Christian way. That he should not look it like that. That he should look this like a prophecy said, because God cannot send His own self to come and die for men." Wow, isn't this an amazing word to say that? If this guy truly can claim this kind of claiming, so isn't it not the Antichrist that is coming the second time? Isn't this not the Antichrist that has been coming? gradually in this earth so these are the antichrist god is as jesus was speaking about men that don't believe that jesus christ is the son of god so at the end of this debate you can find that this guy could not prove any of his point that he brought and every question saint shimon asked him he could not defend it because he he just believed that saint shimon is speaking is reasoning the things wrongly than the way he thinks his own thing so i believe these guys have been converted through their mindset do change their mindsets i believe it's due to mindsets they do convert these guys to any religion they want so thanks for watching this amazing video hope to see you in our next debate